In 1889, most of the buildings of the World's Fair were designed in rough iron. The Eiffel Tower was no exception, with its 18,038 pieces of iron from the mines of East of France. Today, architects and engineers would recommend to use steel for its many qualities. The problem for the city, its manufacturing emits a lot of CO2. Concretely, engineers and architects are making design decisions around materials at the very beginning of the project. So when they design a tower, when they design a building, they will choose the right material depending on its performance, its cost and possibly its sustainability. If we are building a tower, uh, we have to cut the material impact of this tower because it will represent a lot of uh, GHG emission in particular. And we know steel can be made in the medium term with a lower environmental impact at the quantities that are required for the new Eiffel Tower. When you design a process, you will design it uh, in, in our systems. In uh, Katia, for instance, you can design the uh, instruments and the flow diagram uh, that the material will follow along its life inside the processing plant. Then what you can do is you can really see, look at the environmental impact of each step. So it is a big change in terms of designing new processes. Uh, because you will use this environmental impact, this environmental constraint, very early in the design process. So now it's revolutionary because you do this overall assessment and uh, we do it in context of the virtual twin, which enable to communicate and collaborate widely across the enterprise, not only few uh, environmental experts that do the, the, this assessment. Once the manufacturers were identified, the experts carried out an audit of the most impactful points to reduce even more of the carbon footprint of our tower. Everything. Uh, and so, for instance, uh, when, we, when we were looking at the environmental impact of a ton of steel, we, we saw that the transportation was quite important, so that's why we are changing uh, the type. LCA stands for Life Cycle Assessment. This is a methodology to measure environmental impact across the whole life cycle of a product. And it's a multi-criteria method, meaning that you measure CO2, but also other criteria like water, resource depletion. And so when we look then at the life cycle assessment of the material itself, we can uh, pinpoint the various impacts. So manufacturing process, raw material sourcing, logistics, mining, etc. When looking at the Eiffel Tower, we are looking at a building that has been kind of circular from its inception. During the 130 years of its existence, we have changed parts. In this new tower, our idea was to continue this idea of circularity. Uh, so we have designed a tower that can be uh, productized, that can be dismantled, that can be also recycled. And this is really to give hope that sustainability and circularity are possible. By optimizing the sourcing and the use of steel at each production step, the experts managed to considerably limit its CO2 emissions. Good news for our new tower, but we were not done yet with steel. A final polluting stage still needed to be optimized. It's transport from the steel plant to the site.